The future of Arizona's economy might just be getting built in Peoria right now, and it's happening faster than anyone expected. This facility isn't just big, it's critical. In a global tech race where speed and scale are everything, Amcor's move could give Arizona a front row seat to the next wave of innovation. So imagine the US chip supply chain like a car without wheels. All the expensive parts are there, but it's not going anywhere. Now this plant is the missing wheel the one that lets the entire thing finally move forward. So Amcor is building what will become the largest outsourced chip packaging plant in the country, right here in the heart of Northwest Peoria. Now, the plan is to break ground this fall, but the company CEO just revealed they're looking for ways to speed it up because the demand is already outpacing their original timeline. This plant will handle a key part of the chip making process, packaging and testing. And without this step, companies like Apple and TSMC can't finish the chips that power our phones, cars, and even AI tools. So having this plant in Arizona fills a major gap in the U.S. tech supply chain, helping the U.S. compete globally, especially as tensions with China continue to rattle the supply chain. Now, the federal government is backing this project big time, with over $400 million in grants plus major tax breaks. And when it's complete, the facility will span 55 acres across two phases in the Vistancia community, creating jobs and attracting more tech to the region. But not everyone's on board. See, local residents are raising major red flags. They're worried about air and water pollution, zoning issues, and long-term impact of building something this big near neighborhoods and schools. Now, the city is trying to ease concerns with town halls and environmental transparency, but the tension is still real. So what do you think? Is this the beginning of Peoria's high-tech future or a risky move that could backfire on local families? Let me know in the comments below, and I'm Brad Armstrong, a local realtor, and I stay on top of what's happening around the valley so you don't miss a thing. So follow for more updates just like this.